we're here to talk through the Slitherlink by Price. There are a couple of places to begin um, throughout the grid, but something I'd just like to observe at the start is uh, something that you can often do uh, in Slitherlink puzzles to recognize uh, corner type clues. Um, you know, two is going to wrap one of two ways around this grid, but always have uh, ends that go out like this. Well, in this uh, uh, puzzle, these fours in large cells also have the same effect. So the lines will wrap around uh, this corner and use nothing else but come out here. Or if those edges aren't used, the lines will wrap around uh, this way. A thing to recognize in the lower left, and this is maybe a sneakier break in, but one of the first places you can actually start in this puzzle, is if you use the, the bottom and left edge of the square, when this three wraps back around, you'll take a fifth edge here, and so you can mark as unusable those cells, and that gets you into uh, the grid uh, somewhat quickly. We should recognize something in this uh, puzzle is uh, the fact that we can't come through gray spaces. So a cell like this, at most one edge can get out when we already have two ends trapped in of this square space, we're not going to be able to get them both out. So these ends are going to come together. We ultimately can't have something reaching into this corner point because the three is going to need to have uh, both connections to it. So uh, recognizing you don't get into the three, the deductions you can make uh, is this so. This is the only way to fulfill the six. We actually now have marked off four unusable cells around this four. So we'll put those into the grid. We can uh, mark some stuff around this to help us, and I think we'll be able to get back uh, here soon. Uh, once again, we can uh, see sort of see this four because of the zero down here is also like a corner four and has to use a full wrapping as like so. We can do a little more with the two, three in a corner. So whichever way this two, three goes, it actually uses this, uh, this edge on the three as well. If it went uh, like, uh, uh, if it did not use this edge, if it went like this, then this end would get stuck in, in this lower right uh, uh, corner without any way out. Because we talked about sixes on borders before, you either use these two cells or you don't, you use these two connections or you don't. Um, in the cases where you don't, you're gonna have to wrap every other cell around the border. And that actually very quickly gives us insights down here. If we do counting around the large square, we have just four edges left. It has to use these. We now have a situation where, uh, again, we have two ends in a white space, only one can get out, so it turns out we need to bring this end in, this end over. We have four unused around this big square, so they have to be part of the loop. And just looking at the bottom, we have sort of two uh, places to advance up, but notice that in both cases we have a loop segment that uh, would close if it came and used this space. So instead it's gonna come like this. And over here, these are both entering into a white square, but the loop would close if these two touched. So we know that we're gonna to need to have the loop ends come out and touch these different corners. Further, knowing that a loop comes through this corner, we can mark off these cells, but if this comes over to the right, it's gonna force these ends to connect. So we can come down like this this be the use of the four. Can do some more uh, bookkeeping in this space. We're not going to be able to get out of this white square again, so we're not going to get into it at all. So typical kind of deduction around this two, three clue will look like this. Notice that once again, two ends for the same section of the loop, not going to close off. Going to come like this and like this. We learned before why the one is straight on the side. Get to here. In this upper right corner, the same sense around the four of having ends come out is something we can do. 
But I think the way to break into the top is to look at the six cells where I had the easiest chance. Again, thinking that it either uses these edges or it doesn't. If it doesn't use uh, this edge, it's going to use these six. Using these six, it's going to strand around this glue, so it at least has to take these two. Once we mark that in, the deduction around the one three cell uh, gives us very quickly the, the parts of the sixes that aren't being used. These ends can't touch, and if we look around the five, we already have the three unused segments marked. So we get this kind of quick progress. Now we have uh, potentially two ends in a white space. These ends need to get out, so we're gonna need to come this way. We need to wrap around the corner. That's now used all of these cells. So the only way to get through is like this. This end is gonna come out uh, these ends are going to connect. So really the next step is to see that this end and this end, part of the same loop, have to come out uh, from the, this white cell into two different white cells. So we're going to close off the loop again. We saw this before when we were coming up this end, but to be able to get just a single loop, we're going to need to come to the right to this end. And having marked that, this end will come like so. Um, there are uh, a couple options around this too, but if we come down this way, we're going to strand and end. So we're going to come over instead. See, so we mark this 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 way. Um, the here we have uh, an end and a second end in a white square. We said in those situations we can't touch into this corner, particularly with a three there. So something like this. We should be able to uh, mark the rest over here by now, so let's just finish this out. We're tracing one, two, three. We need this fourth end here. We need these three plus this one on this side. We can uh, work into the top or work from the center. I'll work from down here. We have enough of the loop shaped out that these connections are just uh, naturally forced by recognizing. We need to not shut off the loop and never strand ends in any section. This is just a sort of natural consequence. We need to fulfill certain clues. As we mark this out, and as we see that we have no way to come down here, we have a corner too. It's going to have to come like this. Get the one coming up there. Now let's look at the top. So uh, the deductions we've typically made around sixes on the borders, or you can't use these two edges, you use the rest of the loop. Well, we have an end coming into the middle of that connection, so we can force to use this top. This white square has one, two, three, four ends in it, so this one can't leave. We get an issue with odd even counting. So instead we have this scenario arise. We need to fulfill the six, which is where I drew these ends. We need to fulfill these clues. We don't have other choices here. We have four edges left for that cell. This end can mark uh, some information for. So we're now in uh, sort of last stage of the puzzle, and it really comes from seeing how we keep two loops uh, from uh, being made, sort of how do we keep a single answer in the grid. I think the key ends are to look at these two. If we come along this edge of the one, we're going to end up needing to connect uh, into this end. And so once you see that connection, the rest is all forced. So we got through to the end of this puzzle. It's pretty fun. Definitely uses the large uh, squares in nice ways. It has a few different spots to break in. Often many solvers will say they broke in from the top. Um, that you can break in from even harder spots on the, the lower end and ultimately work through 
the, the side and into the midst of the grid is what I found interesting about the puzzle. Also, that sort of situations like these ones, as well as ends that need to keep separate, sort of repeat for a while some deductions of how we get into the center of the, the puzzle. So thank Bryce for the submission. Hope you learned something about the solve, and we'll see you again soon.